Uh, hi, uh, orienteering friends. I'm Joanna from Orienteering Association of China. I'm working for Chinese orienteering about 10 years. I witnessed the fast development of orienteering in China. And uh, today, I would like to show you some experience of orienteering promotion in China. First of all, I would introduce our uh, orienteering events in China. Orienteering has, has been developed over three, 30 years in China since the first orienteering event held in Guangzhou, a southern city of China, organized by some guys from uh, Hong Kong government, uh, Hong Kong Federation. And uh, uh, as uh, following the development of the orienteering in China, Orienteering Association of China was founded in 2004. It's one of the youngest sports association in China. And uh, our association includes uh, event and jury commission, mapping commission, coaching commission, equipment commission, and promotion and development commission. And uh, uh, our association split uh, has two uh, event system. One of uh, one is the competitive events, including our national elite orienteering championships, national orienteering championships, and national youth junior and the youth orienteering championships. And the other is popular popular events, just. Uh, uh, Source, uh, source like the uh, recreational uh, events. It's source like uh, a China Cup tournament and the China Open orienteering events and the other local events organized by the, some kinds of the local, go uh, local government or clubs. And uh, there's some advantages for the orienteering development in China. First of all, first of all uh, as you know, China has a huge population uh, of 1.3 billion, of which 270 million are students. So China has a huge potential orienteering participant. Uh, you can see some pictures from our uh, Chinese Cup, China, uh, China Cup International Orienteering Tournaments. There are almost 2,000 people involved in these uh, events. And the other is the National Youth and uh, Junior and the Youth Orienteering Championships. Uh, it started in 2016, organized by our association. The number of participants is increasing year by year from, uh, from six, uh, almost uh, uh, 630 in 2016 and increased to almost 860 this year. So it shows more and more uh, young, younger generations involved the orienteering in China. So next, it highly depends on the uh, Chinese government policy support. Chinese uh, educational and sports department has had a privilege, a policy support for some sports talent students, especially for their university entrance examinations. Uh, it's include the sports orienteering. And uh, this picture is the, uh, the, the picture of the team of Sun Yat-sen um, Memorial Middle School. This is the famous, uh, his, his orienteering fa uh, team is very famous in, Chine in China. So the other picture is our Chinese orienteering team this year. So most of the team, most of the team member of our Chinese team, come from the uh, from that middle school. So they can go to the university and continue their orienteering career. Furthermore, so next we have some diverse terrain in whole China. China is the third third largest country in the world with rich terrains and the vegetations in different regions. So the diverse feature always makes the orienteering events interesting. 
So you can see some some specific terrains in China. So it's like uh, uh, a bamboo forest and uh, grassland and highlands. And uh, I just I just show some pictures from the our national orienteering orienteer championships and uh, see some 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 videos. share some pictures of our national youth uh, junior and the youth orienteering championships. This, uh, this event uh, organized uh, in, uh, on the highland of uh, southwest of China. And here you can see some particular uh, highlands. And the, except for the national uh, orienteering events, we also have some regional orienteering activities as well. So uh, most, uh, most su successful regional e events is Guangdong Historical Road Orienteering Championships and uh, Henan Urban Coordinate uh, Orienteering, event, orienteer, orienteering Event, uh, also like some just kind of the city orienteering event and the Beijing Orienteering <laughs> Week. And the other, uh, the other orienteering activities in schools and the parks uh, organized by the local government or local federation and the other clubs. So I just a quick show some pictures for the local, uh, local events. This is the uh, Henan Urban Orienteering Events. It's uh, 5,000 uh, part participants involved in these events. And uh, this is the Jiangsu Orienteering uh, Championships. Jiangsu is, uh, is uh, one of the uh, provinces of China. And this, events, uh, um, this event has been 19 years uh, history. And uh, some pictures of, uh, for the Guangdong Historical Road Orienteering Championships. And uh, here's some. <laughs>
次来这这些地方，觉得现在很美，的呃，参加参加这个比赛，觉得很高兴，很开心。就個村好大啦，喺香港好少見到咁大嘅村，啲環境都好乾淨，空氣又清新咗。我覺得個比賽非常之有意義，同埋啲參加者都非常之熱烈，呢、这個係一個非常之值得推廣嘅項目嚟嘅。Yeah. Okay. Uh, finally, I just shared the 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 the, the our interior map in our uh, one of the Beijing uh, one of the Beijing school, and this is the uh, particularly daily uh, our interior events in that school. Okay. Thank you so much.